All right, today we got a, a little video. I, I'm not sure that I ever even covered this. Um, and so I've, I've been thinking of some really good information to um, help people understand more about what we do here. But, but what, is a, you know, what is a clutch kit and what does it do? You know, or, or, and maybe what is it and, and why, do, why do you need it? You know, but most important, what does a clutch kit do? Now, this would be applicable to any vehicle. It doesn't matter, Yamaha, Can-Am, Polaris, it doesn't matter. Any kind of clutch kit uh, essentially does the same thing. Okay, so most times in a clutch kit is you're gonna get maybe a primary spring, a secondary clutch spring, some fly weights, different fly weights or adjustable fly weights for the primary, maybe a helix for the secondary, just happens to be in reach, just an old helix, but a different helix um, for your secondary clutch. So these are, are what uh, I call the tuning components. So this secondary here, empty, without a spring or a helix, it can't do anything and it, and it doesn't know when or how to open. And so uh, first and foremost on these vehicles, depending on what vehicle it is, did the manufacturer get what we call the calibration correct? Uh, we mostly deal in Polaris. They have several models that they just didn't do a good job on picking these component parts. And, and those vehicles are the ones, you know, we bluntly just say, hey, you need a clutch kit to correct it. Okay, so, so what does uh, those tuning components do? Well, every vehicle has an engine output, has transmission ratios, it has tire sizes, etc. And so the clutches on it need to know when, the, the primary needs to know how quick to close and the secondary how quick to open on upshift and then vice versa. The, uh, it needs to know how quick to close on deceleration and how quick to open. These things should be happening at the same time. You, you never want a belt to go slack. When it does, uh, there are models that have bad clutch calibrations. One that comes to mind is the XP General, every year model, but the belt to go up and hit the cover. So that would be an example of a bad clutch calibration from the factory. So, so here, there, there's really two reasons to purchase a clutch kit. And, uh, and just stick with me, I'm a little long-winded, but I just wanna make sure you understand what, what, it, what these components do, why you might want to entertain person one. So on the models, once again, that, that they just do a bad job on, to me, that's just an obvious. Let's just take that stock stuff out and put the correct you know, weights. And I, you know, again, I'm just using a General XP right now, that's our, our number one selling clutch kit. It's because players did a bad job on it. Okay, now then, let's, let's enter in any vehicle that, that we might consider that's okay in stock form. Okay, why, why you know, what, why do we want to do a clutch kit? Well, let's go back to that word calibration. So assuming the manufacturer got the clutch calibration correct, all the, again, spring, spring, helix, fly weight, so that this clutch opens and closes, holds RPM at what's called shift phase. Shift phase is, if you could uh, graph these vehicles on a dyno, you would see the graph runs up, runs flat, and when the clutch fully closes, depending on the model, 50 mile an hour or so, then it comes on up again. This line is shift phase, and that's, that's what a CVT does. When you floor it, it gets up to shift phase RPM quick. Our tachometers are really slow, but where, where is this thing running? Okay, so that's what this clutch is trying to do is get it right in the correct shift phase RPM for uh, this vehicle, the stock vehicle, stock tires, whatever it is. And you come behind it, hey, I wanna put bigger tires on it. Well, you change the gear ratio, you change the weight. So now what's happening in the clutch is it's shifting out too fast. It's trying to get into overdrive too quick. This, this lugs your engine and creates heat in the engine, creates heat on the belt, heat in the clutches. Premature wears your clutches out because you got this one closing too quick and this one opening too fast for your tire. So enter in the clutch kit that somebody's figured out, in our case Dalton, 
that says when you use that bigger tire, use these particular components and set them up this way so that now when you floor it again and get your shift phase RPM up, now it's back to where it should be. So and I like to talk in analogies. A good analogy uh, of what uh, a clutch kit is, is kind of like your tow haul mode button in your pickup if you have one. So if you put your UTV on, on a trailer behind it and take it somewhere or a boat, something, you know, that's within its range, you notice that it, it kind of lugs and all that. You always put your tow haul mode button on, it holds the transmission in each gear longer, brings RPM up, handles the additional load better. Very similar to what it would be without the load, okay? So that's essentially, you know, what these clutch kits do. Now, I'm not a fan of, well, I'll just take a stiff for this or a stiff for that or a lighter weight. If I'm of the opinion that if Dalton makes a clutch kit for your vehicle, then that's what you should get, and you shouldn't be mixed matching. We've not seen success with people going at it on their own. I've been doing this 20 years. I can't make a clutch kit. I know what they do, know how to work on them, know how to set them up, but I'm not the man. Uh, Dale Tool, the owner of Dalton, is the man on that. All right, so basically, like I said, is a, re is a recalibration to what you have. Now, the last thing I want to cover is, and, and I hope you stuck this out to the very end, is that there is a limitation, okay? So let's go back to our analogy. We got our pickup. We've got this trailer behind it we talked about. Tow haul mode button works just fine. Everything is lovely. All right, it's a half ton truck. You say, hey, I need to haul this D6 Dozier across Texas. Is your tow haul mode button gonna work for that? No, you went past the point that tow haul mode is helping you. you you're gonna need more power or, and actually, Gearing, you know, that I mean, that's a silly example. Nobody would tow a D6 with a half ton, but if you geared it correctly, it would actually tow it. See, and so that's kind of what the back end of our um, CVT vehicles is. I, my general rule is, is whatever tire size it came with, don't go above about two inches above it. Once you get above that size, then now you're you really ought to be considering some kind of gear reduction to match your gearing up. You know, again, an analogy is nobody would buy a Jeep with stock tires, go home, put four inch lift kit in it, and put 37s on it, and not put new ring and pinions in the front and rear to lower the gear ratio down because their power would suck, the gas mileage would suck, it'd run hot, premature wear on transmission, burn it up. We know this. Well, our UTVs aren't any different, so there is a point that a kit is just simply not enough, okay? So hopefully if I covered enough, and we'll just back up, what is a kit? It is simply a set of tuning components for your vehicle to recalibrate it to the need that you presently have, whether it's bigger tires, higher elevation, sand duning, or in some cases, literally just correct a bad clutch calibration from the factory, then allow you to put bigger tire sand elevation on said vehicle, okay? So but let's use that general XP. I don't care what you got, you need it. Oh, you, you run 32s and you're in sand? Well, follow the 32 in sand setup in the kit. So you fixed your bad clutch calibration from the factory and then you recalibrated it for what you're doing, okay? So it's simply just tuning components to get your clutch to operate at optimal efficiency for the activity. Uh, I am a big uh, proponent, if that's the word, for kits. There's just a few people that I just don't think get a, a heap of benefit and they can be on the bottom end. I, I mean, this is, when I say only, I, trust me, there's people who do this. I only rock crawl, only. I don't go fast ever. I never use high range. I go zero to three. That needs gearing and probably stock weights or maybe something heavy for only belt grip. I'm not, I'm not a big entertainer in kits for those guys. Hey, I put 35s on my Razor 900. Mm -mm. You, you, you've, 
you just put your D6 dozer on your half ton. You got to talk about gear at this point. So anyway, hopefully you just get a better understanding when we say clutch kit to what it is and, and why you would even entertain it. Any questions? Uh, TylerHunterWorks.com, best belts on the planet. Don't forget we have another website now called HunterWorks Outdoors. Um, please go visit and subscribe. We need to get a thousand subscribers over there. Anyway, got any clutch questions? Todd at HunterWorks.com.